Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. If you are new here, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you know every time I upload new videos. In today's video, I am going to be doing a HelloFresh What's For Dinner, so let's just get right on into it. <music> you guys so for our first recipe here it is a one pot mexicali black bean soup it's got no meat in it but it was really delicious i didn't even miss the meat at all so in the bag it comes with um some blue corn chips and a little packet of tomato paste um and then it comes with a little packet of the southwest seasoning i love how they just give us everything we need if we don't have something on hand. Um, some cheddar cheese, uh, some green onion, as, long, as well as a yellow onion. Um, and then they have this little box of black beans, which I thought was super cute and cool. That is not in a can. Um, and then we have the two packets of the veggie stock, um, some Tex-Mex paste, which was delicious, um, and some sour cream as well um, as a tomato for the toppings. So let's get cooking. You guys, for my next video, I am actually going to do a do-it-yourself meal kit. I do love HelloFresh. I have been using them for a long time. Um, this video is not sponsored, by the way, but I've always wanted to try to do my own meal kits. And the cool thing is that HelloFresh actually has their recipes on their website. So I'm thinking I'm gonna look into that and see what kind of recipes they have that have similar ingredients. So I don't have to buy a bunch of stuff. I can actually reuse ingredients. So um, let me know if you guys would like me to do a video like that because it's so much fun to make these videos. Um, so if you do like these kind of things, please, I would love for you to stick around, subscribe, um, put the notifications bell on. And so here I'm actually draining the black beans and we're going to reserve some of the liquid, which we're going to add into the dish later. And it really does make it even more delicious. So um, right here, I just put a drizzle of olive oil in a large stock pot over medium heat, add in your onions and the scallion whites. Um, and you're going to cook them for about three to four minutes. Um, and then we're going to add in our Southwest spice and we're just going to stir this up uh, for about 30 seconds. Um, and then we're gonna stir in the tomato paste, the Tex-Mex paste. We're gonna um, cook that until it's a little dark and then we're gonna add in the diced tomatoes. that cooked for about a minute we're gonna add in one and three quarter cup of water the stock concentrate we're gonna give that a good stir and then we're gonna add in the beans um, along with a quarter cup of the reserved bean liquid So after it cooked for about five to eight minutes, um, it took more like eight minutes and um, it thickened up really nice. Um, and I'm just gonna put it in our serving bowls and then we are just gonna put all of our toppings on it. Um, starting with the cheddar cheese, of course, I am a huge fan of cheddar cheese, so I need plenty of it on mine. Um, and then as far as the chips go, if you just break up a couple at a time and then add them as you're eating it, they don't get soggy. And they even tell you that on the directions and it's genius. Here is what the finished product looked like and it was really good. Like I said, I didn't even miss the meat in this dish at all. So the next thing we're going to be doing is cooking up some chicken sausage bolognese. And this recipe was another good one. I don't think I've ever tried anything from HelloFresh that wasn't delicious. So um, they tell you all the ingredients, everything that's in your bag. Um, and unfortunately with this box, they actually forgot to give me my chicken sausage. So I had to improvise and 
use some turkey sausage that I had um, got from the store. So um, first we have our spaghetti. And the spaghetti is the perfect portions, by the way. Um, and this zucchini was super tiny. You'll see in the next video that um, I had a lot bigger zucchini for the next recipe. Um, but yes, I have Italian seasoning here. Um, and then this little cute little box of crushed tomatoes. I actually love this brand. It's, it's really good. Um, they use good quality stuff. Um, and then we have a little package of Parmesan cheese. Um, and then some sour cream. Um, this actually makes the sauce, the sour cream. Um, and then our little packet of chicken stock. And I love these little packets. I wish they had them individually. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead, cut our stuff up and get ready to cook. Okay, so we're just gonna put our zucchini on a baking sheet. We're gonna put a little drizzle of olive oil on it and we're gonna use half the packet of the Italian seasoning um, and a little salt and pepper. Um, and we're gonna actually broil it and we're gonna broil it for about five to seven minutes, but make sure you watch it because everybody's broilers could be different. I know mine only took five minutes. In the meantime, we are going to get our pasta ready and um, just boil it up at about nine to 11 minutes. We do nine minutes because I like al dente pasta. Um, and to a large skillet, we're gonna add a tablespoon of olive oil. I am going, you're supposed to have chicken sausage, but like I said, they forgot to put it in the box. They actually gave me an entire free box because they forgot. Um, here I am going to put in the half of a packet of the Italian seasoning, the crushed tomatoes, um, and the chicken stock. And here we are gonna put in one teaspoon of sugar because trust me, with this much tomato base, it's important to use a sugar in it because you need something to cut all the acidity um, from the tomatoes. And we are gonna cook this down for about five to seven minutes. Um, and after it reduces, we are gonna put in a tablespoon of butter um, and some sour cream. And this is what makes the sauce nice and smooth. It's really good. our zucchini we are going to mix this all together um, and then we're going to add in the pasta and this part's important to save some of the pasta water because pasta water actually just is already flavored and it's so good to mix with something that might not have enough sauce on it um, and then we just serve it up and I added some parmesan cheese the rest of the packet that it came with and this was another hit for me and my husband so this next recipe is shrimp spaghetti with a kick. It's really, this is another good one, I'm telling you. I never had a bad meal from them. Um, so it does come with this little itty bitty tiny chili pepper um, and I didn't realize it was in there so I had to actually go back in the bag to find it because it was so tiny. Um, but here is the recipes. I love these recipe cards. I think they are so convenient. So let's just get our unboxing done. And this is doesn't have a lot of ingredients, which I actually love recipes like this that don't have a lot. So um, we have our spaghetti here. We have the roasted garlic herb butter, and we have um, the Parmesan cheese um, along with the zucchini. And you will see that the zucchini in this bag is so much bigger than the last bag. So that's another reason I wanna try to do a do-it-yourself meal kit at home um, because I can actually pick my own produce so um, that's an idea right um, and then here is the shrimp that came in the bag and it's cool because it's already deveined um, so that was a plus so uh, now let's just go ahead get into the cooking process So first thing we're gonna do is saute up the um, 
the zucchini and then I'm gonna add these little tiny <laughs> little tiny pepper which is the chili pepper and um, you'll see at the end that I needed to add some red pepper flakes because it wasn't as spicy as I wanted it to be um, but that's okay so um, here I cooked the zucchini for about a two minutes three minutes until it was browned and I'm gonna add in the shrimp and we are going to cook that until they are pink the olive oil I should have put in before I put the shrimp in but hey this is real life right So after that cooks for uh, about three minutes, um, I'm going to add in our garlic butter and half of the packet of Parmesan cheese. We're gonna save the other half for serving. Um, and then our quarter cup of the pasta water. I actually wound up using a little more than a quarter cup. You will see that. Um, but you just mix the pasta all together with this. And this meal literally came together in like 20 minutes. It was incredible and i added a little more salt and pepper because i needed a little more flavor in it because i did use maybe too much pasta water but it was another delicious recipe and here i is where i added my little extra kick of my red pepper flakes another good one so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh if you want to see my next one make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything have a great day you guys thanks so much for watching